Right, this video is going to be a bit of a rant. Uh, what we're looking at here is uh, a documentary. I just I haven't watched it. I just saw the title on uh, iPlayer, BBC iPlayer. And if you can read, if you can see the writing there, uh, just want to share the politically correct extremely politically correct language uh, are there fascists next door this documentaries of the how did uh, Front National become a popular party amongst French millennials whatever that is um, youth in the millennial generation I take it and could the far right ever win the popular youth vote in Britain and it's been titled uh, Anti-Immigrant Islamophobic with question marks Anti-Immigrant question mark Islamophobic question mark Homophobic question mark Anti-Semitic question mark We meet the young people in France campaigning for the far right as well as those opposed uh, So look at the the language used the, the, the kind of uh, shaping of the political correct phrases and it's very biased it's very uh, anti-truth it's very anti-christ you know there's no such word as uh, christophobe because all these things are against the morals of christianity what uh, God teaches uh, like about sodomy, about other f uh, false faiths, false prophets, and also about um, you know the correct human uh, behaviour in uh, you know righteous living. Uh, God's not a respecter of persons, so. He, he, he's given us a world where we're, we're all different races and we've got our own national, nationalities we've got our own cultures and it's alright to mingle with other cultures and be neighbours and friends but it doesn't work when you start integrating, uh, integrating and crossbreeding and trying to bring everybody into a united uh, Union. That's a false dialect because we could, everybody could be united in their individual nationality. They don't have to all hold hands and mix and have a multicultural world. It's multicultural anyway. Somebody's tried to stick a label on it and own the opinion, own the voice. You know, I'd like, I know what I'd like to do with those labels and where I'd like to stick them. Uh, Islamophobic. You can't. You can't. These are soppy, wet, liberal phrases to keep people t afraid to speak. They're like uh, the gobstoppers for the wet, gobstoppers for the false Christian church, the whores. So they're not going to speak out against these things. These are anti-Christ. These are anti-anti-law. Uh, anti-morals, anti-family, these are wicked machinations and, and it's the use of this language that's come through this medium and this uh, in this generation, this uh, our, our current consciousness, our, the hive mind, you know, the the conscious, the collective consciousness of the world uh, mainstream opinion those who are affected by the mainstream taglines or the mainstream news what what all the all the Hedekian dialect that people are fed or the uh, you know the false dichotomy in this um, this language this uh, phrasing it's bias phrasing, anti-immigrant. So if you want to, you know, you can have, 
immigration, you can have criminal immigration. So you can't say anything against criminals or politic people moving people in to your country politically for their own ends. So if you speak out against it, you get tagged with a label, oh you're an anti immigrant. You don't, you're not you're not one of us, the voice, you're not in the voice, you're anti immigrant. Or if you're if you're uh, speak the truth about Islam and what the Quran teaches and what in the UK what the work what this country has always known because it's, it's founded on strong Christian backbone at one time it, although we were living in a post-Christian era you know there's very slim pickings of Bible believers although there's a, there's a lot of Christianity but that's just a big a big zist a big uh, boil that's not a uh, true Christianity that's false Christianity that's been hijacked that's been owned and infiltrated and like like these labels it's been uh, by machination it's been farmed and cultured and crafted and they won't speak out against immigration they won't speak out against Islam they're too frightened because they're all too they're too deep in with with the other people who write these phrases you can't speak out against uh, sodomy or homosexuality or same and uh, same sex uh, relationships I read some scriptures which uh, clearly show that uh, you know if you're a Christian believer and you think you can be a homosexual and and live continuing to be a homosexual whether you're a man on a man or a woman on a woman and you think that Christ is all right with that that God is all right with that you're severely mistaken you're severely in error and you've been deceived by this uh, liberal dialects where you've got the far right it, here, here's the evidence of the far right and then you've got the far left the wishy-washy who won't speak out against it and then you've got the far right who've been sharpened up to be angry against it and their anger's you know fermented because they don't know Christ they don't know how to soberly view the world because they don't, they don't love the world they hate the world I'm not I'm not either left or right, and I'm not on the fence. I just, I'm, I'm just standing for the truth, and the truth is uh, what's been revealed by Jesus Christ. You know, the straight and narrow, the sharp two-edged sword. Not this left or this right rubbish. The truth, and and all it takes is a bit of common sense and reason to see through these stupid labels that you can't speak out against immigration, you can't speak out against Islam that teaches it's alright to kill Christians and Jews and if you get all these um, divisions in Islam oh we don't teach that, that, we don't believe that well you don't believe that because you're deceived, you're believing in a false god and you're praying to a false god that you're passionate about and you believe in but this God has written through his prophet this so called false God Allah has written through his false prophet Muhammad that it's okay to lie it's okay to kill Jews and it's okay to kill Christians and it's okay to kill infidels who won't subject and surrender because that's what Islam means surrender surrender yourself or else you get you get your head chopped off or if you're from a Catholic point of view if you don't join the Catholic Church you get burnt at the stake or you'll get slaughtered by the other arm of Roman Catholicism Islam because it, it's the same faith in a different dress. It's the same 
working in a different dress. It's the same voice behind these phrases, this rhetoric, homophobic. And it's to cause antichrist. It's to cause anger. It's to cause sexual perversions for the Catholic Church to manipulate. Now, the Catholic Church is like a, a Taliban. They hide behind civilians. They hide behind, um, you know, the good, the good, um, well mean, meaning Catholics. I'm not anti Catholic. I'm not anti um, Islamists. I'm not anti Muslims. I'm not anti Arabs. I'm not anti Jews. You know, I stand with, with the Lord in his heart, mind and will, how he, he's not a respecter of persons. He, ca he, he hates sin, but he, he, he loves all men. He died to save all men, but all men reject him, so they, they don't know his love. Therefore, they can't see. They get tossed either one to the left or to the right, and they don't be in the middle because be, they, they think they're on the fence. And then they get accused and of not having an opinion, and they'll be uh, silenced. They'll just be uh, apathetic. They'll be indifferent. There's a big gulf in between this false dialect because it's both wrong. And if you don't know the right answer, what do you choose? You just slip down in the crack in the middle. It's a wicked. It's a wicked game. Uh, this Islamophobia, this, you know, what about um, a cancer phobia? If you want to, you know, speak out, and that's another lie, cancer, that's a man-made virus. There's enough, enough reports of the truth, the evidence of all this um, false dialect for people to, to just reason it through, just to consider it and examine what's behind it and where it's coming from. This voice is coming from the devil. You know, all that, the evil that's against all good and truth to create uh, divisions, to create this diverse Hillegian dialect, this false dichotomy, or this uh, thesis and this antithesis, and then the synthesis or the problem and, you know, reaction and then the solution and it, it plays throughout throughout the world these uh, freemasons these jesuits these illuminati these these players of humankind these uh, monopolizers these masons these high level secret practicing combinations of conspiracy to ambiguously and secretively by knowingly work a conspiracy against mankind, against people to use people to compartmentalize you know, uh, systems and manipulate all the different compartments manipulate all the different forged opinions and created uh, voices and all that raises up so they can shake it and stir it up and steer it towards whatever end they they crudely choose or design or this evil is uh, continually working um, I'm read some scriptures about how how the Lord feels about homosexual and these people because these people that are behind this are all sodomites I've, had, I've, I've come across many reports that um, show that these uh, Jesuits, the Illuminati, high-level Freemasons, and I'm not talking about the lower gullible rank members who don't know anything about the people who establish these crafts, establish these secret societies, and, and they, they, they enter through the loft, and then they recruit people up through through the front door you know so they don't see they don't see it's a scam they don't see it's a rig you know that it's all all this uh 
progression in this religion, this secret religion, this mystery religion, where they raise people up level by level, lie upon lie, and they tell them it's illumination, it's just more and more darker deception to get you more and more compromised. It compromises people. And then 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 it's then uh, fear is used and then vice is used and blackmail is used and all these crude little tricks to twist the knife in and get people to be in their control or in their influence. And then people who are willingly do it, they let they elevate them higher and uh it, the doors open for them. And uh they're against God, they're against freedom, they're against the law, they're against our every every nation citizen. And they play this, oh you're racist and you're uh you're you're Islamophobic, you're homophobic. And uh, these people are found to be organised paedophile sodomites. They practice abusing young children to um, disassociate them, shatter their life experience so they, they can't remember it and that uh, splits their personality, breaks their... Uh, they, they believe it opens up their spiritual eye but it just destroys them so much and it uh, splits their personality and they, they can, can compartmentalise that uh, fractured child and switch it on and off and re-abuse it and then manipulate it further in, in its vulnerability and, uh, and having any knowledge that uh, that event happened to that person and they can trigger that person back into that comatose, fearful state and then they can abuse them and then that trauma will reinforce the, the memory being shut away and they, they may not necessarily remember the, the abuse every time they're triggered on and off, back and forth. And this practice has been uh, field tested, it's been witnessed, it's been experienced by people on both ends and uh, testified about. And a lot of these people, um, a lot of the Illuminati, a lot of the high-level Freemasons, a lot of the Jesuits, a lot of these politicians are all benders, they're all sodomites. They all prefer boys. And I can't speak for the women if they prefer women and little girls, I don't know. But I'm, I'm going to read some scriptures. Uh, Isaiah 5, uh, chapter 5, verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put darkness, uh, let me read that again. Well unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Look at Romans 3. And not rather, as we be slanderously reported, and as some affirm that we say, let us do evil that good may come, whose damnation is just. Now, if you look at the Catholic Church, the Jesuit oath, that's by any, their oaths basically, by, it, by any means necessary to get the the goal of the Catholic Church, which is world domination, spiritual, uniting all the world in a false religion, 
and 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 having a one world temporal leader so they have full temporal power over every nation and country and continent and anyone that rebels they're bringing to subjection because that's their agenda secretly that's what's what they're working on that's what uh, has been testified on the earth that's what's been testified in heaven and that's what proceeds on a daily basis and these people um, are like what the scriptures are describing, they call it, they they use any means necessary, say so lie. So they their agenda is very well hidden, but because it's against itself, or apparently it appears against itself, because they hide behind this mirage of Christianity, and it's false. They're not Christians. The Catholic Church aren't Christians. And they get all their people like uh, Donald Trump, because uh, he was Jesuit trained. And they get people like that to to support it, it being the wrong thing to speak out against the Catholic Church, to persecute the poor old Catholic Church. It's been murdering people for thousands of years, or hundreds of hundreds of years. It's been killing people left, right and centre, spilling innocent blood, like I, um, like I read in uh, Isaiah. Let's read Isaiah again, chapter, uh, chapter 5. Verse 20. Uh, well unto them that call evil good and good evil, put darkness for light and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter and that's what they've done they've turned the world on its head homosexual is okay you can't speak out against it now it's you know it's taboo it's like you can't speak out against islam where once it was chased out because it was a a, a dicta dictatorial uh, a cult a wicked religion that murdered people and then the, uh, the Catholic Church um, militarised, tried to attempted to militarise Christians against it to play that false dialect again. Now, a, a Bible-believing Christian doesn't go warring after people for a political cause to to bring in God's kingdom or fight the cause of God. There's the holy war is a spiritual war. We stand for the truth we stand for Jesus Christ that every man he's outstretched for he died to save all men because we've received the free gift of eternal life not by our own righteousness but by his righteousness his mercy him suffering our sins on the cross personally him suffering all our personal problems all, all, and remed remedying them because he's, he's God and he knew all things from the beginning, so he came down and suffered it for Muslims, for homosexuals. So homosexuals have uh, free, equal rights like everyone else. But in the eyes of God, he's not a respecter of uh, the wrong thing. He can't respect evil and give it free right. He can't put a stamp of approval on what's wrong. Paedophilia, murder, sodomy false religion, lies, deception and false immigration and that's what immigration is, the Treaty of Rome, it's all a, a big operation to milk down a uh, national sovereignty and then exploit the fomentation of all the um, left and right paradigms, all the broken fractured uh, splinter groups and the you know, all the branches from it and all the support groups of, you know, the, the different segments in, a, in bodies of people that raise up for a cause. It's all, it's all carefully worked and then, it, and then it raises itself on the ground and then it's manipulated and it's all thought through. These people think from beginning to end, they play with people's lives like on a diorama with little soldiers. They plan nations' futures out for them before they've even, you know, uh, hundred years plans, 
50 years plans, immediate plans, in the bigger plan, they plan ahead. These people are organised, they've been doing it generationally and they keep tabs on everything and they, they're all evil is, all, all, almost imitates how a Christian lives day by day by faith, focusing on its um, glory. Now their glory is evil and darkness and one world domination and holding all the goodies. And you know the little tail wagging the big dog. That's their that's their religion. That's their eye, the all-seeing guts, the all-seeing belly, the all-seeing bowels, the all-seeing cesspit. That's what these people are. They're evil and wicked, and uh, they're sodomites. Um, there's so many testimony of uh, these Illuminati wives and members coming out and saying how, 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 you know, there's, even in the military, there's uh, shadow branches and they encourage uh, bonding, homosexual bonding, and, uh, you know, you're not allowed, and then the political arm saying, oh, you can't speak out against homosexuality, and then you get the, the church, the, you know, the so-called Christian church with big gobstoppers in their mouths, and then you get this fermented riot in Islam. Then you get the divisions in Islam, the Sunni and the... Oh, no, we're the peaceful Muslims. And then you get the extreme Muslims. And all, all Islam is is, a get, is to get the Jews off the map. And, and, if, and if Israel defend themselves, oh, no, they're not allowed to do it. They're the bogeymen. And, and if you, you know... Uh, and, and and then they're covered by the the anti-Semitic the use of the misuse of that phrase. You know that that the anti-Semitic is used to protect those who are anti-Semite. And they they hide behind. This is how these devils work. And they you know they encourage people to get yoked to vices and then on the other side of their mouth they speak out against it so they can control it. Uh, these people are sinister and evil and uh, a lot of them have been proven and testified they're sodomized. Look at the paedophilia in the uh, coming out of the woodwork in the Church of England and it's been endemic in these systems, these Masonic systems they turn away from Christ and if they're masons that they have to go through the stages they're rejecting the light they deny as soon as they put their foot in the door they're denying uh, second Corinthians first six, chapter six they're not they're not separate they're in bed with and yoked to this compromise and they're spiritually tasting the punishments and the judgments and they're under condemnation for even even looking in the door and desiring to go in there, even considering it, but actually going through it, that's antichrist, they're denying Christ, they're denying their, their so-called professed faith, but they're quite prepared to sit on all the chief seats and rub shoulders with these homosexual murderers, these bloodletters, these liars and these devils, these idolaters, these perverse, anti, anti-law, you know, anti, you know, hateful, wicked, selfish, sharp, fawns, anti, an, anti-nationality, anti-family, anti-Christ, you know, anti-freedom and anti-goodness. Uh, let's read some more scriptures about uh, sodomy. Uh, homosexuality, which is which is um, deeply wrong. Um, you you think about um, electrical appliances, um, how you how you have a plug, and a plug. You know you can't you can't plug in a plug with a plug. I haven't, got, I haven't got a plug to hand, but you can't plug a plug into a plug. 
and, and get the appliance to operate properly it won't work it's got a male's got to plug into the female socket you know god intended uh you know righteous living uh, for good for peace the way uh, the way of the way of happiness and joy and peace is straight and narrow it's not broad and anything goes let's look, all hold hands with wickedness compromise our morals compromise our reasoning compromise the truth so we can have this realize this ideal this nonsense dream of these wicked men these stupid wicked men who to reject the truth for their own religion, their own gut, their own desire, this big ambiguous mass of evil conspiring against all that's good and all that's right on the earth. Leviticus 20 verse 13, and it all ties in with um, homosexuality, sodomy. And God, God's warned about it. God hates it. God hates all workers of iniquity. God is angry with all unbelieving every day. God is vexed by, and his jud his judgments are forthcoming. They will be forthcoming, because his word says so. And no, no one on this earth has been able to prove God's word wrong. Because they can't, because it's rock solid. But they deny it for their own lusts, for their own sin. So if you're one of those people, you, you need to repent and have a change of heart, have a change of mind to have a change of heart. Believe in Jesus Christ and he died for you once to save you forever. And it's a free gift. But you need to, um, if you're a Christian and you're, you're a homosexual, you, you, it can't be possible because you, there's no fruit of repentance because uh, it's clearly written in the word. Leviticus 20, verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind, if a man also lie, you know, that's you know, lie down horizontally, horizontally with, a, with mankind. Mankind is man on man, or mankind is a, a woman was taken from man, so woman, womankind on womankind. Uh, if a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman, say, if a man is intimate with uh, another man, as if he would be with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. So in the Old Testament covenant, you know, you were under condemnation for committing a homosexual act, whether you're a man or a woman, and it'd be the same with uh, any perverse sexual desire other than what was, what God had uh, desired man and woman to have to procreate, to bring forth more more joy, more, you know, more life for God to work with, more, more of his creation to be realised and, and to potentially be saved. Uh, so if you were to practice that, you'd be guilty and you'd be guilty of uh, um, death for that act. If you were caught, that's how you would have been found guilty and tried. Their blood shall be upon them. And I, I imagine you'd have been stoned to death. Um, let's read another scripture, 1 Corinthians. So if, you're a, if you are a Christian or a homosexual and you think it's right, and, you, and you, you, you demand equal rights to be a homosexual, well, what about equal rights to be a paedophile? What about equal rights to be a murderer? You know, don't be... These labels are ridiculous. These tags that people hide behind are just unreasonable. There's no substance to them. You know, you can't... They're just political uh, gobstoppers and... Uh, train track buffers to stop uh, the truth rolling on.
Right, first Corinthians six. <coughs> Excuse me. Verse nine. Uh, I've got the right chapter. First Corinthians six nine. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit, the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, sodomites, homosexuality uh, from either sex nor thieves, nor covetous, not drunkards, nor drunkards, nor revilers, revelers, nor extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus. And by the Spirit of our God. So you were so if you're saved, you were once past tense, and now you're justified and washed from that. You can't be you were once a home uh, a sodomite and then you were washed and then you could, and you're justified to carry on being a sodomite. That's not what the scripture is saying. And that's what the, the all of the word backs you need to be washed and cleansed and have a change of heart, a change of mind and a change of fruit in your life that you wouldn't practice that anymore. And uh, uh, let's read some more scriptures. Um, First Kings says, this is actually, homosexuality is actually a genetic inheritance through the consequences of humankind going through the generations and practicing this perversion and that genetically is recorded in the DNA of those generations of people and those um, genetic markers are passed on to their children and then they're passed on to their children and their children and their children and it, so each is going to be prone to that same perversion. It doesn't mean they're all going to practice it, but if the whole uh, generation or cycle or, or, or group or community of those uh, corrupted ge genes and their, uh, ge uh, their offspring are practicing those abominations, or in that they're growing up in an environment where they're being practiced, they're more prone to do it and genetically prone to to, to have that desire in them, to have that perver perversion of nature because uh, they went after strange flesh. And so their, their children are going to desire to go after strange flesh because their parents are going to be living that example and the community is going to be given off that example, therefore they're more likely to be prone to do that and genetically have the vulnerability to make that choice easy. So the whole thing becomes corrupt. And, that, uh, and that's what, where homosexuality comes from just like uh, genetic diseases, like a lot of things, it's through sin and sin is genetically marked and mapped in the human DNA and it comes out in many forms uh, it might be alcohol alcoholism, it might be violence and abuse it might be a perversion, lust, it might be a um, an appetite for all the lusts or it might be an appetite for one particular lust or there's so many diverse sins to mention um, I'm looking for first kings first kings chapter 14 
the word of God is true and consistent. True is true and continually true to itself. So it can't deny itself. These little phases and divisions just confuse people. It's just a smokescreen. There's no substance and it won't come to the table to be examined by the truth, by the word of God. So it needs to be taken to the to to the table. It needs to be placed so people can t can know the truth and know know and avoid these lies. And if people want to be homosexuals, they're going to be homosexuals. You know, they don't they don't need to cry out that they got a right to do it. Everyone's got a a right to choose right or wrong and everyone's going to pay the consequences of those choices and God's given us his word but if you don't have faith and you won't know if that word's true or not and then you'll carry on in your own justification thinking you're right because, but that doesn't make the truth untrue and that doesn't stop you being under condemnation for your corruption and that doesn't stop God love, loving you and loving all men, dying for all men. And that doesn't take away the truth that, that those people are outside the love of God and under his condemnation and will burn forever in hell if they die in their sin. Um, 1 Kings 14, 20, verse 24. Um, and there was also Sodomites in the land and they did according to all the abominations of the nations which the Lord cast out before the children of Israel so in this scripture and there were also Sodomites now and according to all the abominations of the nations and they did according to all the abominations of the nations which the Lord God cast out for the children of Israel. So everything the Lord has wrote against and dealt with and banished from being in his law, his heart, his mind for his people that none of these things were practiced in those people's lives, in their hearts and minds and communities so they would escape those gen genetic corruptions and perversions for the fourth and, you know, fifth generations. And these people will just continue and they'll be pr their children will be prone to follow suit and they'll be in that curse, that curse of sin. And uh, sodomy here gives us, gives us a clue to what else was practiced with it, what goes hand in hand with it, all the abominations of the nations. So all those ab idolatry, sacrificing your children, murdering other children and sacrificing them to false gods and false notions and vain idols, secret works of murder, conspiracy, merchandise, money, filthy lucre, business corruption, business conspiracies, power conspiracies, political conspiracies, all these wicked uh, fornications, adultery, bestiality, all these things are practiced by these sodomites. What's a sodomite? It's a bit more than a man on man, woman on woman, it's a whole it, it, it's like the whole candy floss of sin on one stick. That's what a sodomite is, and that's why God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. They were so perverse and give over to all the perversions and lusts that you could possibly imagine. Not only it was a mano on mano, it was mano on beast, mano on babies, you know, mano, probably on trees and stuff like that. All, all any perversion and then they're worshipping of idols let's go to um, chapter 15 verse 2 verse 12 
And he took away the Sodomites out of the land. This is the Lord. And he took away the Sodomites out of the land and removed all the idols that their fathers have made. So you can see these Sodomites, if you, you consider Hollywood, right, Hollywood's made up a load, apparently of loads of reports that these Hollywood key monopolizers, the people, you know, the people who say you get your movie going, the people who, are, who own the ground, who own the circus and the, you know, the tents and all, all they just got all the power it's it's been testified that they're paedophiles, they're sodomites, they're practicing all their mystery religion, their your new age occultism, whatever, whatever goes. All this whore, all these hybrids, all these um, abominations of practice goes hand in hand with sodomy. You know, world domination, merchandising of people's lives world power, world domination, holding hands, mixing it, mixing evil, all, all getting in the same bathtub like a, you know, a rugby scrub, a uh, rugby uh, team having a good scrub in the bath together. Um, it, it's depraved. Uh, let's read some more scriptures about the consequences of these things, uh, these p wicked perversions of what the Lord is you know, he's on the threshold of judging it. You know, you hear of wars and rumours of wars. We're at that stage now. But when the Lord was speaking of wars and rumours of wars in um, uh, Mark, um, Matthew and Luke in the Gospels, he was, he was speaking of the, the Great Tribulation, the Jacob, time of Jacob's trouble. That's, that time hasn't happened yet. So we're, we're, ver we're passing from that the you know we're on the beginning of that the great delusion the apostasy you know the apostasy happened from the beginning and the, the gospels remain true but the apostasy happened iniquity worked from the beginning so the the, the falling away started at the conception of the gospel and that falling away is reached the farthest it can fall and it, it's gonna it's laying on the floor our nation's on the floor it's got its face down in the puddle bleeding to death our, our nation's been knifed mugged and left for dead in the ditch but you know we haven't woken up against it because we've been um, patronised with this European voice this immigration voice this voice, oh, immigration's good for this country. You know, well, you, yeah, you could, that's like putting one eye, uh, hand over your eye and saying, yeah, my left eye's good enough to see with. You know, it, it, it is. But it, you blinker to the what's on the right side of you, you've got to turn your whole head around to to see. When you've got both eyes, you can, you've got a clear field of vision. And these 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 things have blinkered people, blinkered their ability to reason and uh, measure the truth and come to a rational um, conclusion of what that truth is down the middle, down the line, because they're, they're not born again, they haven't the Holy Spirit, therefore they don't believe in the Word, therefore they don't trust God and God at his word. So they're deceived, they're either on the left hand or the right hand. Or, or they're the people in, in, in the evil middle, you know, um, holding the strings and pulling the strings and crying out from whispering behind the bush. Kill him, stab him, or whatever it is they want, want to uh, encourage people to do, other than think for themselves, keep them dumbed down like um, robots. PCs, politically correct people, like that advert, I'm a PC, that's all I need to know. Uh, Romans 1, 26 and 27. Um, for this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. That's what I was saying about um, genetic inheritance. 
he, he gave them up and so they continue on in their vile affections and then they're genetically uh, passed on. For even their women did change their natural use into that which is again is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. Uh, let's look at 1st Jude, verse 7. Their recompense which was meet. First Jude, verse, first Jude, verse seven. Jude, verse seven. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, flesh are set forth for an, an example. So they've been set, set apart, set forth for an example for the future generations. Uh, you know, you can say, oh, well, you know, that's just a story, it never happened. Uh, well, you can know God, you can know his words true, and you can um, be sure it did happen, because God's trustworthy and true, he doesn't lie, and he cannot lie, and he cannot deny himself, only people can deny him. So, you can't argue with God or his word. Uh, good are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. That That's the example. And people have had plenty of warning, but they poo God. They, you know, they, they boo him, they mock him, they mock Christianity. Because the Christianity they mock has been set up. It's part of the dialectic. They set up this false Christian body, compromise it. And then they point the finger at it and then they raise up people to be angry against God because they're, they're angry in their hearts because they're wicked and they're convicted when they're told they're homosexuals. You can't, it's wrong. Oh, you can't say that, you're a homophobe. You, you know, you're hurting my feelings. Oh, it's not intended to hurt people's feelings. It, it, the truth is preached to intend to save people from their dis they're being deceived and being corrupted in their flesh. You go to hell for being a sinner, whether, you, whether it's homosexuality or thieving or lying. And if you're genetically sick, um, and all, all, the whole world is genetically sick, so you're not being singled out by, by Christians because you're called a, you, you know, you, a Christians speak out against Islam or abortion, or they're not speaking out against the individual, they're speaking out against the choice, the, the forces, the powers that are against your, what God desire, desires for every man and woman to know, and that's the, his way, his joy, his life. And you can't have that joy, and you can't have that life, and you can't have that peace, you can't have that happiness, you can't have that contentness, you can't have that clean conscience without God. So you can't have that. You can't have your cake and eat it. You can't be a sodomite. And that's why you get all these parades, because you're, you're convicted, and so you have to be self-justified, and you have to have a colourful, colourful parade and go banging your drum down the street and get a load of people on board. Then you'll get all these hawks that will play that, play that to their advantage and they'll hold that up in their left hand and they'll speak out with their other hand and point and say, oh, you're against these rights of these homosexuals, nothing to do with your rights. Your rights are preserved like everyone else's. And, and 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 if you're a lawbreaker, you expect the law to come and uh, deal with people who are stepping out of line. 
So if you're a thief, you expect the police to come and, you know, catch thieves, especially if it's you that's being thieved from. And God's no different with his law. You know, it's like gravity, it's like justice. And if, you, you, if you're against God, you're against his law. Whether you, whether you make it law for homosexuals to be allowed to be married in churches, you're not, you're not going to ever be married in the sight of God because it's an abomination. So you could be civilly married if you, if you so choose. And if the politicians so, you know, give over to that, to that um, biased view and compromise, they're under condemnation too for supporting it. But if that's the nation's choice, that's the nation's choice. You know, it just doesn't change your rights and equal rights. One person's right doesn't cancel out another person's right. Because you're going to get a paedo, you know, you're going to get people, you got paedophiles appealing for their rights, you know, to make it law. Once people compromise, no one will care what morals are. They're so blinkered in their right eye, they won't see the moral wrong of it. And then they will make it law, and then the Dumb. They kill off all the throw all the people off the bus that speak out against it, persecute them under the eyes of the ignorant, choke these people, isolate these people, and destroy these people quietly in 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 a slow wine press, trampling under them with their heavy-handedness and their elevated dominance of. Uh, calling evil good and good evil and getting the world on board and and basically that's what these all these stupid political labels are anti-immigrant you know check out the Pope check out the Treaty of Rome check out all the immigration and what nationality they are and what uh, what religion they are and you might be surprised to find that the majority of them are Catholic or Catholic friendly Catholic supporters or or some political um, persuasion and it's to milk down our own national you know freedoms and rights and they've been injecting and planning this and undermining our own rights and our own laws and our own nation. And it's the, the horse is bolted. So it's just, you know, this cancer's killing this country. It's killed it. It's dead. It's, you know, it's had its final orders. It's on its, its last legs. So if you're not saved, if you don't know the Lord or the purpose of life, I just pray that you seek his outstretched heart and his uh, his son, Jesus Christ, what he done for you on the cross, because it's finished. And you can receive that and be pure, like a child, a newborn child, holy, without sin, without, because of his sinlessness. And he teaches sinners in the way, so you'll remain a sinner, but he would teach you righteousness. He would give you his righteousness to live righteously. He would give you his love to look, lo to live lovingly. And he would give you his just, just measure, his just opinion, his just point of view, his just reasoning, his wisdom, his hindsight, his knowledge to make just judgments, not these silly biased, Islamophobic, because they're Christophobic, they're Jewophobic, you know, they're stupidophobic, they're, they're just stupid, silly political tags that um, are placed in front. There's no debate about these tags. That it. It doesn't speak for the people whether the public have accepted these tags. It's just, it just states, oh, you're a homophobic. Well, who's the author of this phrase? Is it the public voice? Or is it some political machination saying that's the public opinion and then trying to 
dominate to make it public opinion. That's exactly what's happened. And, and that's what people don't see. So I'm going to close there and uh, leave these things with you to think about. Anybody that's watched this and interesting, I, I hope that's, you've learned something and or it's been helpful towards you. Um, but these uh, political forces are getting more and more dominant and dominant and dominant. And uh, if you've come across this video and you, you're not saved, I, I'd extend that inv invitation of the Lord to seek him and, and believe, to seek him in faith. And yeah, he's faithful, he will answer your prayer. You don't, you don't need these uh, uh, mediums, these advocates. All you need is uh, a relationship with personal it's none of anyone's business what your sins are and what you've what you've suffered in your life you the only person who can fix that and forgive your sins is the lord jesus christ and he's he's the door he's the one you need to knock and approach not not what i say not what the world says not what the public opinion is not what the new zeitgeist zeitgeist is not what the the new flavor of the month is you need to seek you need to reason this out you need to seek his heart mind and will and seek him and he will reveal he will remove your suffering he will remove your sin he will forgive you of your sins give you a clean heart and a clean conscience to live right for him and if you sin after you've received him, you you just confess your sin and you're you're good to go again. You're you're that newborn child again every day by faith. If you continue on faithful. So I'm gonna leave it there and invite you to seek him and if, if you're a beloved brother and sister, I uh, blessings to you. Um and any anybody who's uh con consider themselves a Christian and is practicing homosexuality and perhaps has been offended by what I say. I'm only saying it in love and for you to escape the, the pain, what Christ put off, the misery, the, the eternal anguish of, of hellfire for not listening to God's word and rejecting him, therefore suffering the consequences of your transgression, your sin, and you're out of the way. So if you are a, uh, a Bible-believing Christian, you need to you need to seek the Lord and repent and be born again to become a true Bible believer, to know the Bible, to believe it, to continue to believe it, to help you to know it, to help you to believe it, you need to know it. And to know it, you need to be born again, you need to give to the Holy Spirit. Otherwise you can be deceived because the devils believe and you could be practicing your faith in vain and because you've not received Jesus Christ, you haven't had the faith, you haven't trusted in him, you've trusted in some other teaching, some false teaching, therefore you haven't appropriated this time because he, he hasn't listened to you because you haven't repented, you haven't accepted his word and his word is quite clearly um, called sodomy and abomination. So you cannot practice, you, can't, you cannot be saved and continue on practicing sodomy because you would have given sodomy up as you were being saved or after you were saved and you come to salvation you wouldn't want to be a sodomite, you'd want, you'd want to live for Christ, you'd want to be a holy vessel and you can't be a holy vessel by practicing abomination. It doesn't, it doesn't ring true. It's an error. It's hypocrisy. You could, you could um, perhaps fall into that lust after you were saved, but that, that doesn't make it right. You'd still need to have to repent and turn back to your first love, what you'd been forgiven of and washed from. So if you've fallen back into that lifestyle and 
and and now and justifying it and you think you, you believe it's right, it's not right. It never was right, it never will be right. Um if you want to get your washing done you got you can't plug it into another washing machine to switch on the power. You need to put that um that baby into the mains. You need to put it to the national grid to get some power into that motor to drive the pump the water through and wash your washing. You can't you can't you can't do it any other way. You can't procreate without with, without a male and a female. Um it's wrong. So how how it can be justified is completely blind and blinkered and unreasonable and untrue. So I'm going to leave those thoughts with you and uh, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen.